Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another recording from Ranked Replays that I've found on BallChasing.com. And I know a lot of you have been asking what SoCal had been up to, because he's one of the best 1v1 players of all time, and he's obviously been extremely popular on my channel recently, but he took a bit of a break between the end of Season uh, 14 um, and the start of Rocket League's free-to-play new seasons, um, taking a break from 1v1 entirely. But he is back on that grind, and he said to me that he'll be happy. He's excited to get back into the show match scene once he gets his level back up to what it was before his break. But uh, thanks to Spider auto uploading a couple of uh, replays against Khaled, we're going to get to watch uh, uh, some of his gameplay and his current return to farm. Um, so let me get into that game for you guys and make sure that I do not... Okay, yeah, I do not have the uh, result leaked. So no panic there. And let's see what Khaled has been getting up to, what Spider's going to be able to do in the matchup. Oh, not the best start for him. Looks like he was either running away to tell his um, his mum, come and watch, I'm playing Khaled. Yes, seriously, look, it's him. Or, or just he didn't have his controller plugged in. Whatever it was. Oh, man, Khaled is off to a flying start. Another really powerful grind shot. Makes it 2-0 in 10 seconds. And that's a rude awakening for Spider. Um, just realizing perhaps at this level, He's got to be as careful as possible. Yeah, sharp play from Khaled. That was some powerful striking. Good boost steal there by Spider. And Khaled is going to try and stay on this ball anyway. Gets a bit of a fortunate bump on Spider as the 50-50 went down. And now he's going to start that possession play. Air dribble from the back corner. Khaled preserving his boost right now for the recovery perhaps. But he won't need it. The reset and the shot midair. Leave Spider completely helpless once again. 3-0 in just over 30 seconds. Khaled looking close to his best. Make it four off a kickoff. And my goodness, Spider's going to have a rough game here. Now, I will say, just like the usual ranked replay cast that I've been doing, I have not watched this game, so this is the first time I've seen it. Um, so I want to be able to enjoy it for the first time. Make sure that I'm right there with you guys as we witness greatness, perhaps. Not the best uh, full volley off a bounce dribble there, especially given Khaled's standards, but he is still in a very comfortable position here. Spider is not, that was awkward. And Khaled has got such a huge boost advantage. Starting to get those steals going, but nice drop by Spider, staying with the play there. And now he's actually preserved all of his boosts while flipping towards the ball, knowing that Khaled is gonna take the mid. But oh dear, oh dear, Khaled is just having his way with him. Far too easy once again. He dispossesses Spider in his own half and makes it 5-0. This is some impressive stuff. You know, based on what we're seeing here, I don't think it'll be long before we see Khaled making a return to that 1v1 show match scene. Um, quick little notification as well, by the way, for all of you who haven't uh, given me a follow on Twitter yet, um, you probably won't have heard about Goldmine 1v1 tournament that's coming up soon. So if you've heard of Gold Rush, uh, or, or sorry, if you haven't heard of Gold Rush, they're a Rock League tournament organization. And they have teamed up with uh, myself and Smellsworth to collab um, Gold Rush with Salt Mine. And it's going to be a 1v1 event for the top 16 players in EU, top 16 players in NA. Two different tournaments happening at the very end of October. Um, if you want to know about that, be sure to follow Gold Rush on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be insane. I'm looking forward to casting that one, streaming some of the games for it on my own channel. And Khaled is going to be playing for the EU uh, tournament there. Maybe getting a tournament win. Uh, for the first time in 2020, after dropping his previous two, Fusion and Salt Mine, to Fairy Peak and Jorias, respectively. Yeah, 1v1 tournament coming up at the end of the month. I'm really excited to bring to be helping out bringing you guys that action. And I'm just super excited to see the games, to be honest, because it's all been 3v3 for ever since RLCSX got underway. And, you know, what a year it's been for competitive Rocket League. So much Rocket League to enjoy. Nice save there by Spider. Nice clear, I should say, maybe. He didn't need to get the save because the ball did, of course, hit the bar and then go out. But he stabilized, it would seem. Stopped Khaled's insane goal spree. Uh, is it going to continue that way? Oh, another save by the bar situation. And Khaled not able to go for the boost steal because the shot was available straight down the middle for Spider if he did. Here comes an early challenge for Khaled. Spider's got the recovery. Oh, what a play. Has he got the double? No, it just doesn't have enough boost to reach it. But that was a phenomenal play by Spider to counter Khaled's early challenge and then recover into a double touch attempt off the floor. Pretty insane stuff. 
But I also love the early challenge from Khaled. You need to go for those in uh, 1v1. You can't let somebody come at you slowly in a position where the flip reset is threatened. Now here comes Spider again. Khaled's got that shot wrapped up also. Follow up is good. Oh, Khaled's going to save that one as well. Spider's putting together some decent offense. But he's going to need to do better than that. Khaled's just a brick wall in defense at times. And he's playing quite reactively here. He's quite happy to just let Spider make plays and then think about how he's going to save it after the fact. As long as it's a ground play, mind games, not going to work. Khaled reads it, challenges it, and scores on the counter once again. I make that quite a few goals on the counter attack for this game here. Um, and also quite a couple of very strong kickoffs for Khaled as well. It's made it incredibly difficult for Spider to just even go 50-50 go, uh, with him in the matchup. It seems like he's just always playing catch up. Khaled's got his flip here. Just collecting that one off the ceiling. And of course, he's always quite happy to dribble the ball back into his corner. The one thing he has to be careful with whenever he does this is keeping an eye on where his opponent is so that he doesn't get demoed from behind. But of course, Khaled is very good at that. He's so hard to catch out of position in the back corners. So he's, just, he's done this probably more than anyone else at the top of the Rocket League Ones game. That possession play all the way back to his corner. You'll notice one other thing that Khaled does when he dribbles the ball into his back corner is he does it quickly. He doesn't take his time. He makes it as uh, makes it back into his corner as fast as possible, um, just so that his opponent doesn't have time to react to that happening, chase him down, and set up the, those bumps, which can be so dangerous. Now, is that going to be 8-1? It is. Khaled doesn't have to wait uh, for the rebound. It's just gone in off the post. Impressive performance by him, and although Spider in the mid-game looked competitive, the scoreline's gotten quite ugly for him. Hopefully, for his sake, he'll be able to uh, have a better go of it in the next game. Is that going to be 9? No, Spider desperately trying to keep it from 9-1, but he can't. The landing was not effective, and that is an 8-goal game. Yeah, based on what I'm seeing here, like I already said, I think that uh, the Khaled return to the top of his game seems imminent. This is very clean as a performance. The only thing that was missing was the, the vicious bounce dribbles that, we, that he's so famous for. He had, uh, you know, one that he went for this game, which ended up with a pretty tame shot. That is unusual. But everything else was, it was just absolutely where it had to be. Uh, the aerial plays were impressive. The, uh, the mind games were impressive. Everything uh, was there for Khaled in this matchup. So let's get into game number two. I'm just going to uh, very quickly bring up the screen cover again so that I don't spoil the result by the name of the replay here. But yeah, both these ranked games were played back to back, at least according to the timer that they were uploaded on the website. And I have to think that they were also uploaded by uh, Spider, given the, the time frame. But anyway, let's get into the second game here. Uh, shout out to Spider for uploading these. Always fun to watch the ranked games because when these are played, obviously there's less pressure, so players are able to just, you know, have a a bit more fun with it, and uh, you really just show us what they do when they're when they're training. Because the ranked games really are just the training for the one v one players. They're just practicing their mechanics, they're practicing their um, their you know solo defense more than anything else. If we're looking for transitions, things that are going to transition into the team mode games. But yeah, you're, you're more likely to see, especially a player like uh, Khaled, who's so famous for the solid ground play. He's, you know, more willing to get up in the air in these ranked games, which is always cool to see. Spider's awkwardly positioned here. Khaled with an easy rebound. Oh, it wasn't actually an easy one. He had to throw himself at that because it bounced downwards. Bit awkward. Still the 1-0 for Khaled. Took a bit longer than the last game, but sure he'll take it. Now here he comes from the air once again. Look how much boost he's saving in all these plays. Just so he has that 30 or 40 to recover with. And look at that. If you have that 30 or 40 boost to get back into the play with, at least you've got a chance to prevent the counter attack from happening. If Khaled used all of his boost in that aerial play, then that was just an easy counter attack goal for Spider. Speaking of easy counter attack goals, Khaled almost gets one. Spider having a much better start to this game. I think he's realized that there's no time against Khaled to let your guard down. Oh, he's gone for a very risky play here, though. I don't know what on earth he was thinking there. Khaled. Oh, off the inside of the post. <laughs> Unnecessary. But he gets the rebound anyway. I think he just wanted to leather that one on target. He wanted to absolutely smash the ball into that open net. 
Um, but it was a bit risky to do so. I would be surprised to see Khaled do that in a show match or in a tournament. And like I said earlier, in a ranked game, why not just go for an open net boomer? Spider off target. Good bump, actually, to get Khaled off that play. But how about that for a recovery and a response? And now Khaled's got the bounce dribble going on the far side. Chips it into the crossbar. It's another rebound goal. And Spider, after respawning, just didn't have a chance, really. It's just all too easy for Khaled to pick his spot. But still really smart of, uh, of Khaled to notice where Spider respawned and then take the ball to the other side of the goal. Just open up the angle, give himself options to shoot whichever way looks the most tasty once he gets the ball into that position. Oh, Spider called Khaled's bluff there. Khaled didn't jump for it, even though it would have been quite easy for him to get goal side of it. And it would have been great for Spider to get that goal back. It's, you know, breaking that um, scoreless position. Step number one, obviously, to making a comeback. Also just a confidence booster, because he's almost gone half a game without scoring. Now here he comes again, has the bump set up. Doesn't need it, because Khaled tried to wait for him to fly by, and he never had the chance to. Spider's timing was brilliant. 3-1, just before halftime. Yeah, you guys, uh, of course, you're waiting for the show matches, waiting for the 1v1 competition to come back. You don't just have uh, the gold mine to look forward to. Uh, the next generation of salt mine content is in the works. I know I keep saying this, but just to let you guys know, we are still working on that, getting it pushed through all of the uh, procedures that need to happen in order for a big tournament um, to get planning or to get uh, you know through the planning stage. Yeah, the, the salt mine is not done for the year. Let me just tell you guys that. Oh, Khaled with the rebound. Speaking of calling bluffs, Spider must, he must have expected Khaled to just stand off that rebound. Because obviously, if Spider jumps for it, he should get there first. Khaled doesn't get his boost seal here. Is that open? Is he going to get there? He is. And he always places that ball so close to the wall in the defensive corner, making it impossible for Spider to shoot, or at least very difficult for Spider to shoot on a rebound. Spider playing for the boost seal. You've got to think that Khaled's uh, feeling the pressure on this one. Oh dear. Spider misses the tight angle open net. That's a disaster. Could have been, should have been a two goal game. Instead, he's missed it. And not only that, that's given Khaled a chance to get his boost back in order and get the ball back in his hands. Full volley, a better one, but still off target slightly. Spider thought it was on and he's flown right by the internet save. It was a good try. You know, had it been on target, maybe Spider would have had a save there. Because it's hit the bar and gone down, Spider's timing is thrown off. That's the benefit of shooting as powerfully as possible. No time to read. Oh, strong 50-50 actually by, uh, by Khaled there as Spider had more momentum than he did as they collided midair. Boost seal is good for Spider, but oh, his line of attack is not. He's taking a wide, wide turn on the corner. And you know, in those corner boost deals, you've got to take the inside lane. You've got to clip that boost on the other side, get back to the play as fast as you can. If you're going around the outside of the boost, that really does increase the time that you're out of the game significantly. And now Spider's Missed his own corner boost. Khaled will make it 7-1. And just like that, the game has completely got away from him. You know, credit to Spider for hanging in these games, though. He's not just fallen behind three goals and then forfeited. He realizes that this is a great opportunity to play against one of the best 1v1 players to ever play the game. So you might as well make the most of it. And hey, you might, as, you might even force an own goal if you stick around. 7-2. That's some decent consolation. Not every day you can force uh, Khaled to own goal. Yeah, plenty to learn from these matches. You always learn more from your losses, or at least you, most of the time you're going to learn more from your losses. And yeah, lots to you know take away from this. Spider going for a boost or a demo in the back corner doesn't get it once again. Khaled's awareness, even if he doesn't see Spider in plain sight, is spot on, and he predicts the incoming demo quite perfectly. Last chance of the game, perhaps for Spider. Can he get a montage goal to write home about? Oh, not quite. He misses the reset and into the ground they go. So GG's. Couple of games there for Spider and Khaled.
a couple of very impressive games for uh, Khaled. But, uh, you know, shout out to Spider for ha having his auto upload on his... Um, on his uh bulge, on on his uh, back is mod I should say, so that we can enjoy these games on uh ballchasing.com. Once again, I just want to highlight I'm not sponsored by Backers Mod or Ballchasing.com, but I do thoroughly recommend them to you. Ball chasing a great place to see additional Rocket League stats uh that you won't see in the scoreboard and a great way to upload your replays and get mass data on them. Uh yeah, Backers Mod as well. A really uh cool in game, uh, if you're if you're playing Rocket League on PC, a really cool uh, a program that you can use to give you additional functionality within the game, such as auto saving and auto uploading your replays to BallChasing.com. But yeah, I I know every time I mention one of these uh, programs, you guys are gonna think that I'm uh, just saying it because I'm sponsored, but I'm not. I genuinely just yeah, you guys should check them out if you want to get other uh, more functionality within your game. Just uh, very uh, quickly explain that to you guys anyway ggs Khaled takes two games extremely comfortably looks very clean looks very speedy and he looks a bit more diverse than the ball uh, than the the um the bounce dribble um otp that a lot of people think he is now i don't think he's a bounce dribble otp but no one even his biggest haters can call him that after uh seeing these two games now uh just yeah keep an eye out on twitter for the uh, Goldmine 1v1 event at the end of the month. Keep an eye on as well on Twitter for the uh, the return of the salt mine. Um, hopefully coming soon as well. Um, and keep an eye on my YouTube channel. We're going to be going big on the ranked replay casts. Um, I managed to find a ranked best of seven played between um, O'Khaled and you probably a lot of you guessed it apparently Jack which is just I think one day old at the time of me recording this so uh, coming to the channel very soon will be a best of seven from ranked um, between two of the best in EU Khaled and Jack we've seen them play a bunch but definitely look forward to seeing that again but for now guys that's all we've got time for so take care have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you very soon for more videos just like this